Right. Hello, and uh, welcome all to uh, the Hunter Heavy's fight night. It seems that everybody has arrived and that we are just uh, waiting for the starting signal to uh, sound. Uh, there's a few more people trying to get into Mumble and getting things sorted. Uh, today I will be joined by uh, Patch. Hello, Patch. Hello. Uh, well, everybody's here. What do you think? Who's going to win? What will we see here? Um, I don't know. King of the Hill generally rewards, um, I think, teamwork more than, more than steel, I think. Uh, and you believe that one team will be better in teamwork than the other team right now? Looking at I don't know. It, it depends who's calling the shots. Um, well, last fight no night, the players. heavies were calling the shots. And yeah, it should be the heavy, I think, or the, or the medic even. I think the heavies were calling the shot last time. It will be probably this fight night as well. So on Team Blue, that will be Kalashio. And for Team Red, it will be a Wild Ray. I don't know them. I also don't have any um, any experience with either of the players, but I do know some of the players on both of the teams. For example, on Team Blue, uh, Spandy is playing Sniper, and he's quite a good Sniper, so that's going to be quite a good player. Jim Bob has been medicing the past few fight nights. Not too bad. Um, and on Team Red, uh, we have Sam playing an Engineer, and he didn't play a very bad Engineer last time, so that might be something good for... Uh, Team Red right there. I think Sam's a natural engineer. <laughs> he, like, he doesn't really like playing Team Fortress 2, he just likes building his stuff. He's more of a Minecraft player in a Team 2 environment. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I see Team Red also has Timerinia on a pyro, so that's a strange choice because last time I think Timerinia was the sniper and being pretty good at it. Uh, and it seems that Tinker is Team Red Sniper, and I am not too sure about the abilities of Tinker. At least I can't remember them right now. Uh, well, for the rest, I don't really know any of the players, but I do hope that uh, they perform quite adequately for the cards they are playing. Any predictions on teams who might win? It's too early to tell, really. Well, for Wait now, until the first clash, then I'll, I'll, I'll think I'll put uh, my money on Team Blue for now, just because I know more people yeah? there. And Team Red, uh, for example, Tamarini on Pyro. Not one of the most influential classes in the Highlander. No. And because I don't know the other ones, I can't really say something about them. But Spandy on uh, Sniper, that's, that's going to be pretty big, I think. I think we'll just have to uh, wait and see. Let's look at the loadout. What does the medic have? Which medic are we looking at? Oh, I'm looking at the red medic. Uh, Mig, who's about to get stabbed. Oh, I guess we can't tell now because he's dead. <laughs> yeah, what, what kind of medic are we going to see here? I think regular or maybe Chris? Um. I don't know this one. Is there enough time to get crits before you get to the middle? Probably not. Probably not. So both teams might go with uh, original Uber uh, for at least the first clash in the mid. After that they might switch. They have switched the past few games on this map. So we might still uh, see a recurrence of that tactic. I'm not a fan of the Red Medic's uh, hat. Oh, we're starting. Okay, let's see whose rollout is better. Let's switch all the way to midpoint and see who oh, gets the red scout isn't, isn't moving, so... I'm sure they've got a good plan. Okay, it seems Red Soldier arrived at midpoint first. Yeah, he's really there. And going for a bit of early damage... He doesn't have any health, so I hope he doesn't... Oh yeah, he's dead. Quickly. It looked impressive, though. Well, it did make Team Blue stay behind for a bit of a moment, and that just resulted in the red demo on the point right now, and that being mostly on the point while Blue is still trying to roll out of that choke point. But Team Blue is rolling out solidly and just is pushing Team Red back. Yeah, 
that's what you want. Have you on the point? The, the, the death of the demo and the pyro in the early game just got them uh, a bit of a victory on the midpoint because they had all the classes. Uh, team so Blue the has the Ruba charge. Has uh, yeah, a point control right now. You can now. pick the medic at night. Oh, those are not. And for now, Team Blue seems just hell bent on staying on the point and getting a bit of damage on them. This cost Jim Bob medical life. And this just cost almost all Team Blue's life. And okay, they have the point now. That was quite the thing. Let's see if Red makes the same mistake of staying on the point while it's not necessary. Well, they sent the demo forward a bit to put some damage on it, but he runs back. Ah, here we go. See, Team Red is pushing forward. This, this is, to me, the hard thing to do when you are not needed on the point. Don't stay on the point. That's just easy to spam. Mm. And now it's Team Red with the uh, Uber advantage. They try to get hit by a demo, and they have to pop the Uber for it. That's a shame. Uh, the Red um, Heavy goes in, thinking he's got Uber in his back, but he does not, and gets killed by the Blue uh, and Medic combo. The Red Medic isn't glued to the Heavy. I think that's... Um that's a good thing, I think. It's a good thing, but it would be nice if there was a bit of communication that Red Heavy's death could have been prevented pretty easily. Yeah, if, if I was that heavy, I would have been a lot more conservative there. He just fought so against Uber and jumped in without any saying. Yeah. But still, Team Red is on the Uber advantage as, as Jim Bob, the blue medic, got shot down again. It seems that Team Blue is not really caring for its medic, or the medic is not really watching their own back. They seen the spy. There's a spy near the medic. Red medic. We could hear some decloaking going on, but uh, no action so far. And a blue scout gets shot down by the well placed sentry by Sam there, who unfortunately gets destroyed by a bit of demo sticky spam. But still, Team Red seems to push Team Blue back quite a bit. That's not that blue spy doesn't seem ready to commit to anything. Here he comes. Here he comes, but he dead. fails to get anything out of that staff. And this will just result in this of the engineer's setback. But if Team Red moves forward a bit, that means the red camp will not be destroyed. This looks like a great victory for Team Red. And that my initial prediction was wrong. Perhaps solely in the in the whole tactic of Team Blue staying on the point. Well, this is the blue. last clash. The last clash is on the point, and the medic pops too late. He goes in with a pyro. And gets pushed back by the other team's pyro. This is a bit weird. This is a bit fragmented. The point is now for Team Blue. There's not many red left alive. There's not many blue left alive either. And Sam is Looks having like a small red. battle with the uh, blue pyro who narrowly avoids flames there. Bit of luck on uh, Dr. Corey there. But they still, do need to do something quick. Team Red captures the point back almost instantly. And it's only 14 seconds left. It's changing team Blue doesn't have a Uber to back up the next charge. They're and coming, but there's just bodies throwing it. Oh, heavy, get on the point. Yes. Ooh. Okay, brilliant. Well done, heavy. An overtime on the nickel second, and just got on the point. But now they have to keep it for two minutes. Can they keep it for two minutes? Maybe. I mean, red have got to be pretty demoralised. True, but they almost have an Uber as well. It's seventy-five percent of being red. And although Team Blue is being a bit smarter now, they're not standing on the point constantly, but still are standing on the point for oh. quite some time. That results in a heavy step. Spy takes out the heavy. And they're all covered in piss. This is some damage <laughs> gonna be there. <laughs> That's got the feel shit for being covered in piss. A nice sniper shot by Spanish there, taking out the medic and ensuring that this heavy can't stay on the point. I really don't like uh, Ubering uh, the pyro. It seems a bit easy to kite him. It is quite easy to kite him, but for now it resulted in the pushing back of whole team red and actually giving more space to the blue team. He's pushing them back all the way into the base. 
Rooting for Blue is still on point. Well, I think we're going to win, but I'm rooting for Blue now. Well, I thought Rook was going to win as well, but now it's going to be really close. I mean, uh, the Red Team's Medic is only on 2% and they're not building it with explosives of anything. And I'm not really sure if they'll get a new recharge before the game is over. Team Blue still standing on the point that does result in Heavy getting killed again. Team Red don't want the offensive now. Heavy Medic just clean people off the point bit by bit. Going back for a bit, trying to get that, uh, that Uber up safely. Oh, this think the medic needs point. to get on the point. The medic gets on the point. That, uh, uh, okay. Unfortunately, it results in nothing. Victory for Team Red. Team Red actually found their teamwork uh, at the last point of the game. Unfortunately, a bit late, but hopefully now they will have a stronger presence on the point and actually move past the point. And Team Blue is on the point way before Team Red's even there, but Team Red's rollout is a bit more wholesome. Spies bumping into each other. And nice spy bump in there, it cost Team Red spies his life. It's always embarrassing. Two sneaky minds think alike, and one dies for it. A stand by Dr. Cory there on Red Engineer. Very well done. Some nice offensive engineering by Blue Team's engineer there, it forces the heavy to go back. If yeah, they I like that spam position. Actually. A bit more on the heavy, that's a dead heavy. But he's getting healed up by the medic and he's almost for health again. Oh, well, they've got the point, they don't need to take risks. As long as they can hold the choke points and not stay in the point too much. A bit of uh, stickies on the point there to uh, get the uh, people that are on the point. For example, a spy or maybe a rock jumping heavy. But they seem to be doing the same again of standing all on the point and just making himself an easy target for damage or an uber as you can see although there's some good pushing work by the pyro spy going for the stab very nice stab he could wait till the uber was over and got a nice stab out of it and here they come again with the uber pyro again trying to push back but not doing so much damage A bit of uh, chaos behind the ranks, but it uh, doesn't result in anything really. Although Team Blue's medic has died from fire damage right now, and this just gives Team Red about 40-45% over advantage. It seems that Team Blue has the problem of standing on the point and cluttering too much. But as soon as Team Red has the points, they go that little bit further. Stay a little bit more spread out and spam the choke points. They do seem to huddle behind the um, the rock on their side, exactly. where the um, dispenser is, the, and, you're, and you're safe there from um, the fire. But uh, it means you can be found because you've got no visibility, and you can be spammed from the nice lobbing demos and the soldiers yeah. from above. And because you're so clumped, that's a lot of damage, and the medic can't heal at all. Here comes another spy stab, he's got the medic! That's a brilliant stab there by the spy. Can Team Red turn it around though? Are they gonna push in? Is there a communication? Guys, the medic is down. We have to go in now, we got Uber, let's go. They pop the Uber, they're going in. The Bloom Heavy doesn't see it, oh, and that's good work shot on Pyra. Good work by Blue Pyra, he died for it, but it was good. They turn around a bit. They're on the point right now. It's heavy versus heavy and medic. The heavy and medic are coming back for some strange reason. It's still Team Blue's point. The jumping demo doesn't do anything because of the nice sentry placed by the Blue Engineer. Very well placed battle sentry there. Red Spy is getting disposed of and flung into the sky. I saw that. Spam getting shot here and there. He's on an unstoppable kill streak and he's part of why Team Blue has some point resistant now. Demo seems really powerful as well. Look at that, just three shots in a row, killing one by one. Demo throwing himself on the point. He comes to a spy. Oh god, oh, an unfortunate he did, he did Uber. Force Uber. He did force Uber. He was unlucky to get the kill there. What's Team Blue's answer gonna be? Putting down a bit of a sentry. That's desperation. 
You have enough time, Team Blue. Don't throw your bodies on a point. Regroup, reorganize. Team Red's got the point and they're going for the high ground. Team Blue is going in with an uh, Uber. Do you have anyone to cap the point? Oh, Medic, there's a scout behind you. Kill the scout. The scout's down. The Red Heavy is wreaking havoc. And the soldier only just discovered it, but it doesn't matter. The team is capping the point. And That's it's an dead. adventurous heavy, I think. That adventurous heavy was good, but he needed to uh, put some more pressure on the team instead of walking away. <laughs> well, as I said, Team Blue found their teamwork and is actually doing it right now. Okay, it's a close game, one also so far. Okay, let's see. Both teams are uh, fighting at the small hallway. With the heavy dying first Blue by spine. a nice headshot yeah. and a nice nice stab. Cool. It seems that both snipers are doing some good work here and the spies are doing some nice stabbing as well. Good. And so far it seems that Blue is slowly creeping towards the point with uh, infamous Blue placing his sentry there ready to relocate. And the point is Blue is now. Okay, red team, 60% Uber. Not far behind blue team is Uber. So there's probably going to be another close. clash on the point. They're trying to keep a bit of distance. With a bit of uh, turn on spine checker by Sam himself. I think he gets the pyro. But team blue is keeping it down pretty good. But the heavy is quite undefended and dead going for the med pack. And here they go with the Uber. The medic blows it, but he blows it too late. What a shame, Jim Bob. You're on your point all by yourself. He you might have to give a bit of Uber to the scout, but the scout's dead. Where were the passes? Where were the damaging passes for the medic? This soldier here got separated from his medic and he's gonna get panned for it. And no, not really panned. He got sticky though. But he didn't die, and that should have been a kill for the demo. Who in his turn does get sniped by Spandy. Again, some good sniping. And some bad spy. He's a little bit off right now. Again, Team Blue with the strong push. Putting some damage past the point. Uh, team Red actually having an Uber advantage here, and a Tinker sniping the heavy. Medic was on the point alone and capped the point. Bit of a risky play, but it was worth for it. Uh, he's moving back again because of the Uber charge, and the soldier tries to rock jump out, but gets blown out of the sky. It's a good death. It's very dramatic. The spy stabs the soldier, and <laughs> Sam tries to. Oh, sorry, the blue head tries to uh, go in on his own. But gets flanked from all sides. Sure about the blue heavy's close. Yeah, the slow gun is okay if you get assaulted by scouts, but this is just a whole team offensive, and you'd mm. rather have the damage of the northern than in my opinion. I think scouts are quite good for this one. It's too concentrated for the scouts to really do much. Exactly. He's working on the point again, and again a headshot on the heavy. Hopefully the heavies are asking the spies to take care of the snipers because I think the snipers are the most important class for both teams in this game now. We've seen some good. nice medic sniping, we've seen some nice heavy sniping. Ooh, again some bad calling on the spy there, that's one stab too many. Still, it is Team Boost Point and they're about to overtake Team Red in time. They have the Uber advantage, that's how they push it a bit further than the point, as they did last time. They seem to be doing pretty okay, although they're getting spammed a bit now, and Jim Bob is forced to pull back. Which leaves the heavy on his own again, and damage right into a little chunky giblet. A brave rocketing soldier jumps in there and gets punished for his foolishness. Very dramatic. 
very dramatic and very dead. Okay, then going in with Yuda. That's probably on the advantage now since they almost have the Ruger again. They are camping the point back, but Red can move in with their Ruger, surely. Oh, no, that goes to Heavy. And the Medic is on his own now. Are they going to kill the Medic? No, the Medic Fink is forced to pop the Uber and he goes in with the Engineer. Will he get a kill? He gets a kill, but not credited for it because the sniper got the last piece of damage for it. Red team is really fighting for this point. It seems to be a bit more of a back and forth game than the previous round. So far both teams are going up quite equally with Blue taking a slight lead. And having a slight Uber advantage now, I hope they will press the point soon. Let's see some music screen here, actually. Seems the red demo has switched to the cannon to push people back off the point. Which actually is, I guess, kind of a smart choice here because of the small choke points and the pushing power just to get people away from the point. And the sign of the team by the red overtakes blue in capture time and they are actually only 15 seconds away from uh, victory. Here comes the push by team blue and... Oh, maybe they've done it. They are pushing the heavy. Oh, but the medic goes into far and it gets a full phase of minigun. Okay, that's it. Right of it. Well played, Team Red. It seems that the best players are also the most influential uh, players, uh, and it doesn't depend on class because on Team Blue, Spandy is the highest scorer, and on Team Red, Termarinia, who I marked before as the Pyro, no less. I don't understand how a Pyro is doing that well. He's probably just pushing the corridors pretty hard. And Team Blue is punching up really, really hard here. While Team Red is running a bit out. And Jim Bob the medic just got stabbed there by the spy. Some good spy work in here. And quite coincidentally, both teams lost their medic. So the point is still a bit of a mood zone, a bit of a wild west with no medics to back people up. Red seem to want to push him really happy. far. What are you doing, Heavy? You need to capture the point. I like his aggression. But, um... His aggression is good, but he's not capping the point. Nobody's doing anything with his aggression. No. And the blue scout was just kept forced off the point. And now they're bunching up a bit, which results in a bit of demo spam. So far, Team Red doesn't seem to really pay attention to the point. And I'm all skirmishing around the choke point hole. Team Red uh, grouped on the point and capped it pretty fast. I think Team Blue didn't go back for any kind of reason. And now Red Soldier is pushing forward quite a lot. Really forcing the medic and the soldier to move back a bit. He gets a heavy in the progress. Sorry, a heavy the, uh, engineer on him, of course. And uh, Team Red seems to have used the rubber to burn down the heavy again. This pyro uh, medic business seems to have gotten Tamarinia his score. But yeah. it seems to work a bit. I understand why they're not sure. time around, hopefully Team Blue will uh, keep the point longer. As Team Blue goes in for the Nuba charge, well coordinated with a soldier coming on the point at the same time. 
Although there's a lot of people to point right now, it doesn't matter as the demo gets annihilated by the heavy. With some side damage on the sniper as well. Okay, Red Scout going for a few mid shots on the sniper, is it good, but I can't get close enough and get shot in the process. It's a preloaded dead map, Scout. This is probably one of the maps where you are going to be a support scout with the boss in the back here in yourself and getting the medic uh, some charges and maybe milking people on the point during this push. Yes, this sandwich on the point here looks really tasty and probably was meant for a medic or underclass, but uh, maybe he's not. doing too much. Oh, the engineer had a nice sandwich dinner right now as he goes into shotgun someone in the face. I don't think he even noticed he ate it. It was an unappreciated sandwich, but a tasty one, nevertheless. Ooh, nice triple kill there by uh, Josh P on the demo. And a bit of sassing. Ooh, a medic kill by the spy. Well done. Well done, Dr. Corey. And here comes the Uber. And because they don't have anything, they do cap the point. But they're going to get pushed off as soon as the heavy arrives. Comes the red spy. Comes the nice stab on the heavy. And now the blue medic is down by the pyro again. Surprisingly, they are back capping the point though, and this is a few precious seconds that Team Red needs. And Red medic gets taken down by the sniper. I do believe this might be one for Team Blue again. Team Red might go into overtime, but I'm not sure if it will gain them anything. They do get the point. Now they need to hold it for. One and a half minutes. And blue has a heavy medic. Red has a heavy medic, but red has the more damaging one. Although, if his attention span isn't that great, he oh. might get killed. Picked by sniper. The medic is not healing people, and this results in the red heavy medic combo overtaking the maneuver charge. And oh, <laughs> again, red demo just blowing up everybody. And the sniper is picking up the small scraps that are left. I do wonder why the blue hacking still is going with that gun. Red minute goes down, this probably is going to be one for the blues. We still have enough time. Jim Bob is almost full of charge. And the scout is getting some damage off while he's at it. Oh dear. Blue Medic, you got lucky Pretty there, now, and the they capped the point. 2-2. Two, two. This uh, is turning out to be quite equal. Yeah. Right, time for the last deciding round, as Sam pointed out. Team Red seems to be a bit more distributed of all chalk points. So they're going in with a very nice assault, but he gets killed because he can't hit any point. The spy's going in for a heavy stack. Can he get it? He gets it. He gets it. Unfortunately, not the medic, but it doesn't matter. Team Red captures the point. Team Blue is going to push behind. A bit of a tour of the pyro there, getting the medic. Strangely enough. Hmm. Some nice uh, point blocking by the scout there. And I was hoping he would get the attention long enough for the heavy to mow down some people, but uh, it was not enough. It does seem that Team Blue is playing this a bit more defensively and rather than sticking on the point they now move back a bit whilst getting stabbed by a spy. But they seem to move back a bit while Team Red moves forward after they've captured the point. 
momentum really does look with blue at the moment. But it seems to be working for them. They've now overtaken Team Red in the capture time, and with a nice assault of the blue soldier here, they actually are pushing them back into the base and getting some damage off while they're at it. Jim Bob has his Uber, and he is really far ahead of the only 20% Uber charge on Team Red's medic. And as long as he doesn't get sniped, it's going to be all good. I wonder what their comms are right now. Are they going to hold the Uber? Are they going to push out a bit with it? Red Heavy seems to want to move forward, and he gets killed. Dice for it. There's an assault by the Red Soldier, he gets the Medic. That's brilliant. That was good. Very good. Not even a bit of demo spam can help you now, Team Blue. That's five on the point. I think they hold on to it, that they gave the momentum to Red. Yeah. And again, the Medic dies by a spy. It seems that both medics are dying quite a lot in this game mode and uh, because it's such a small spammy map with tactics of large teams, medics are killable objects. Very killable objects. Red Spy comes up behind the medic. Oh! That kills him. That's another PhD in Ice Cold Murder right there. And they get the point for it though, but move back a bit. Are they waiting for the next push? It seems Black is going to go down again. This Blue Heavy is losing the one-on-one -on -one fight with the Red Heavy to fight off mm. And it's probably just down to the choice of gun. Okay, is the Blue Medic going to get it? The soldier sees him on his own. Gets two shots on him. Three shots, Jim Bob, why are you taking shots to the face? Blue Heavy still hasn't scripted gun even after all these kills and he dies for it again. Walks in he's, going to this point. he's not gonna switch gun. Jim Bob on 50% overcharge. The red medic goes down. He got stabbed again by Dr. Colby. But so far, no assault on points being made. Okay, here we go. Blue team assault. Rocket jump from the soldier. Doesn't seem to do a lot. Blue's on the point again. They capture it. Blue medics get stabbed. I'm really surprised to see the uh, both teams, Pyros, not protecting the medics even after they were backstabbed so many times in the whole game. They're always facing forward, they're not looking at the medic, they're not putting their backs against the medic back. The medics are really winning this for them, and the spies are winning by killing the medics. Team Red slowly inching towards the point again, some offensive engineering getting a bit of a good one. Again, we have the heavy versus the other heavy, and this one has no medic. He spots the spy in time, gets the kill on him, but not before the spy kills him. Red is trying to throw their body on the point. They're waiting for Uber, they're going to go in with Uber, they blow the Uber. This heavy's gonna get killed. Oh dear, they're too far. Is that it? They are too far. If you not move back in time, oh, they're there in time. Still, Team Red has a minute to hold the point. There's a lot, of, a lot of blue are dead right now. And Red still has the other advantage. Red Engineer is building the screen. The dispenser is doing work for Team Red here. The demo has secured the point. It looked pretty secure here. Heavy is caught out on his own again. 
I do wonder why this heavy is moving with the same gun and with other medics, even though it's proven fatal for him multiple times. They're going in with a little bit demo. I mean, I'm not sure that's a wise choice. The demo is all alone at the point now, while Team Blue is just waddling around. I think maybe he's just not used to fighting with the heavies. And this is a well deserved by Team Red, but it didn't go easy. Well done, Team Red. Team Blue was fighting for it. And I do believe that the choice of weapon by Team Blue's heavy might have cost them the game. But this has been really close. This has been really, really close. It was some nice sniping by Spandy, some nice spying on both sides by Dr. Corey and El Chitaro. Yeah, some crucial picks there. Medics got picked off way too often. I think the medics in this, yeah, and the medics in this game just didn't have a very good lifespan. But they had to push out in order to really help the team on the point, and um, that just made them vulnerable from, from so many angles. Anyway, we're moving on to bad water. This is quite a nice map uh, for all classes, I believe. Uh, although snipers do have a big influence in this map. So yeah, perhaps map. Team Blue will have a bit more of an advantage here with Spandy uh, being the better sniper of the two, I guess. And I would be quite eager to see if the team uses sacrifices to get the engineers on metal and where the engineers are going to set up on the defending teams. Are they going to set up on the high ridge or are they going to set up in the little cove? Are they going to set up near the tunnel? Or maybe they're going to skip point A completely and try to set up on the roof near point B. Could do. I mean, a sentry up there is, is very useful. But it is surrendering the the early portion of the map, really. And you want them to uh, have used their Uber. You want to force the Uber. Yeah, the, the thing is, like, if you put it on point A, you can defend for quite a while. But as soon as they have the momentum, setting up on the roof near point B is pretty hard. But there's not enough time. Freedom for Dead Ringer. From the Dead Ringer. I immediately Two. don't like him anymore. Two way overpowered weapons, and especially in this uh, they are quite deal breaker. It, it's just tedious. Well, the thing is, if we go for the Dead Ringer for the spine, um, the bad thing about the weapon is, is that it forces the other team's spine to use the weapon as well, I believe. Because it has such a big impact. Yeah. Uh, as a spy, if you go in there with the Icicle and the Dead Ringer, you are the, the other team has to pull so many resources in killing you and finding you that the other team spy is forced to have the weapon as well. Otherwise, it's just not fair. It, it, it just uh, enforces the, the spy's role uh, in the team to waste the attention and ammo and health and time of the other team to look for him with mm. no effort whatsoever. 
and uh, the reserve shooter is banned on the pyro just because it has a load of damage output reliably I don't remember what that one does again it's uh, a shotgun, it yeah. crits, it's a shotgun and it puts people in the air so if okay. you grab the cheap puff uh, uh, flamethrower for the pyro okay. it's loads of damage up close quite reliable oh, sounds quite fun actually it is quite fun Truly it is, but uh, it's no, I think the pyro needs help, to be honest. Like, as soon as you grab someone with it, they're basically dead because of the whole being in the air and people not being able to aim properly while they're being puffed. While you as the pyro have full control oh, of the battle situation. True. So, the thing you go in, puff them in the air, reserve shoot them in the face, and they're done. To be fair though, that's a dynamic you get all the time in the game anyway, from soldiers who just shoot you in the feet, knock you up into the air, and then you can't really do anything whilst they kill you. True, but for a soldier you still now, need really... to uh, aim properly while the pyro Well, you shoot the floor, it's not... Well, you have to shoot quite near them. If you shoot right or left of them, they jump in a different direction than you expected, while the pyro has complete di uh, control over the direction. And the altitude, he just knows where they're going to be almost 80%, 90% of the time when the air blasts them. While the soldier, he can't account for certain movement of the enemy, it sends him in just a different direction. It's just more of a secure launch with the final air blast, and because of that, the reserve ship just gains the power of it. Is it a uh, pyro only or? Um, I think it's banned for everybody. Oh, other classes can use it. Um, yeah, I think it's the soul. I've never really played on the And the pyro who can use it. Okay. But it might be wrong. I will look it up. I think this is quite a difficult map to scout on again. Because it's uh, well, quite linear. Um, I mean, scouts are good for pushing the cars. Yeah, and uh, if they can get through up behind up enemy up. lines, that, then they can have fun killing people as they, they go from the front line to reinforce the team. Yeah, the reserve shooter is only usable by the soldier in the pilot. Okay. I believe we're still waiting for someone to come back. So so far we've just been a mayhem in the middle. The thing is, I haven't seen any advanced techniques being used in this fight night, or uh, most of the fight night anyway, so those things are like damaging yourself as one of the self damageable classes, for example equipping the Boston Basher as a scout and getting the medic to uh, get Suro Uber up quicker or maybe self harm as a demo or a uh, soldier. And another one of the things I've been missing right now and especially it's gonna be quite important in this map is classes killing themselves for the weapon magic and the engineer to ensure a quick and higher level setup. Okay. That's all for Team Red, yeah. Well, for, for any tactical or for any defending team. Like in the previous map, it wasn't that useful, but in this map, it's quite useful because if you uh, die for Engineer, you're going to be back on the battlefield on time anyway. It's a big setup time, but that metal from your weapon is going to be Mission a big difference in, in his seconds. whole nest, so to speak. Here we go. A few pleasantries being exchanged between teams. And let's see what's gonna happen. What's the engineer gonna do? Where is the engineer? Okay, here goes Sammy. He seems to be setting up to the top right. The heavy kills himself. This is what I was talking about. It's you like can he was see. listening. This just means that he has the teleporter, the, the sentry, the spy kills himself as well. I'm not sure if Sam has seen it. He People did. are just killing themselves to give Sam metal. Yeah, this is good. He, because the medic is so uber charged as well. 
But look at all that metal that Sam is gaining. Mission begins in ten because seconds. Pyro's looking on in horror. <laughs> is he next? Want me to die too? Three, but as you can see, two, this resulted in one. a very nice setup camp, and all the team members that are supposed to be there are still there. And a teleporter as well. This is one of just one of the advanced techniques you need to think about and do, and they have actually done it as well. Let's hope we maybe the teleporter will be better under the sands though. Just likely to get uh, spammed. The blue team's heavy is on his own again. Oh, blue spiking up on the sentinels. He is going for a stab on the demo. No, he's going for a burn Pyro's by the there. pyro. Over here. Well the faster. Red Pyro trying to keep a bit of damage up. Blue team a bit reluctant and they only seem to be pushing to one part of the map, although the scout is not enough. Ooh, heavy getting shot there and the crit creek on the medic, not so good. Sam rocking a Rango there, getting the demo with it. But that was an untimely death for the for the red heavy. Blue Spy is getting some damage on the Medic, not getting a kill on the Medic. And let's hope he Red Medic is going up soon enough to uh, help kill the Heavy again. Strange choice, I think, for uh, Team Red to have the um, Creek and not using it offensively. The Creek really is an offensive Medic gun, uh, and you want to use it offensively, so what I should have done is said to Mr. Demo, come over here, put your stickies down, blow the whole thing up and hopefully you'll get the medic with it as well. But now they've just blown it and in anticipation and well, what's the Chris going to do against the far upper Uber? Meanwhile the scout is pushing the car and hopefully the announcer will bring it to different parts. Blue have actually got the car very far, they might get the uh checkpoint without even having to deal with the sentry nest. Well the sentry nest is gone anyway. If they get a sneaky spy. Or maybe a little quick scout. They need a lot of distraction as well. well blue spy I'm be. hoping that's what will happen. And there's a very unconventional pyro there who plays a bit of a spiral and kills the medic. There was some unconventional bludgeoning by the pyro there. Come on, scout, scout, scout pushing the car. Nice bit of uh, the movement there. That was enough for the heavy medic to clear the nest. Yeah, at this point is almost most certainly blues. Is the red engineer setting up? Oh, well done, blue. Where is the red engineer? Red engineer is just moving out. He can't put up any defenses for point B. He just was dead for too long and Team Blue just really has to start down. The rollout was really nice. Okay, Red have been pushed pretty far. Yeah, this is what I mean Blue with Team B. If you're not quick enough on, team, uh, on point B, then you're just going to get rolled over it. Especially when you have the high ground and the floor completely clear of your enemy. And I guess this is what the Red Engineer Sam uh, went for as well. He's like, I'm not even going to defend that point, I'm just going to set up in the corner and see. Okay, they're making a stand on this corner. Okay, here we go, Team Blue, blown the river going in to destroy the nest, they thought it was there, and they saw it was there, and now they're putting down all the stickies and blowing the sentry nest, the spinnerines. Stab being done in the middle, and actual damage being done by cause of the bunching on the point. They didn't get the dispenser, I think. And Team Red should be moving in with the crits now. Come on, Red Team, move in with the crits. You might get a kill on the engineer, but you might get a kill on the heavy. Oh dear, why aren't you using your crits, Team Red? 
be too precious about it. We want to use it for, before we die. This is a big mistake by Team Red. They're not using their crits offensively. They're just holding on to it. They need to take use initiative now. They need to use it, otherwise Jim Bob will have enough charge. Oh, here they go. They're going in. They held for it uncomfortably. Well, for quite a comfortable time, they held on to it. Can use free people. But they used it, and by sheer luck, because I'm sure they didn't know, Team Red didn't have their Uber just yet, and got killed. But this was a really risky play by Team Red. And Jim Bob just died in the still bed for quite a while, and it gives Team Red a nice advantage. By the time Jim Bob is up again, Team Red will have their crits ready. And I do believe that uh, if they have someone scouting out the blue team, saying like the medic is coming, the medic is pushing, they might still be able to hold this point. Because Team Red has their crits free now. And if they move in with the crits free when the heavy medic are a bit further, like now, there they go, moving heavy, please move in, get the medic. The medic is not dead. Not as effective as hope. They've planted the blue attack. I mean, there's not many of them alive. They might want to have lured in the blue medic a bit more. Because they're only going to get one more chance of having their new advantage. But heavy moving back. Uh, I want to see some more flesh on the front line. That's a big chunk of damage lost. And Sam is forced to move back while Team Blue is moving forward. Jim Bob has his uh, Uber. Team Red has his crits. Are they going to use it? They're going in with Uber. Team Red has to move back. They just need to hold out for a few more seconds until the Uber is gone and then they need to fix in. But Team Blue uses this moment quite well to move in and clear the point. There are very no vulnerable down this Okay, they seem to move in from behind. That's this is going to work. This very is good. good. This is good. This is a lot of death. That was a nice cleanup by Team Red. The demo has sticky the point, but that's not sorry sticky the point. Sticky the spawn, but that doesn't matter. Okay, I do hope that Team Red can build the defensive right now. The single spy jumps in and gets caught out. The demo tries yeah, to kill a medic and succeeds as the medic dives in the display of death valley. This pit down here is um, very vulnerable to attacks from everywhere. Exactly, but as soon as the engineer has the sentry up and if no explosives you can reach him, it's pretty safe. And it might be wise for the red medic to switch to a normal uber right now, but he still remains on the crits. Team Blue seem to be charging pretty fast. Are they on the different one? No, they're on the normal Uber. They're gonna have the Uber advantage. They could probably use it to get the sentry next down. I don't like approaching from, from here. Okay, they're going with it. Pyro back last. Doing some pretty good work. Hear a bit of frosting, and Red successfully defended point while well played by the pirate and the engineer there. Yeah, it was blasting way out of sentry, but it, it didn't do enough damage. And the pyro was wisely using the corner to pop in and out with that blast to get the Uber away from him. Team Red has a very nice crits. Team Blue has been stabbed multiple times. AIDS is being proclaimed, although I'm not sure about that. Team Red, where's your assault? You have the crits. I 
Okay, okay so this is loot. If they had a demo, they could spam the hall with quick stickies or something like that. And this is why the power is important for this defense. Not only to push the cube away, but just to keep the sentry explosive free. And perhaps even spy free. Okay, the heavy medic goes clear out themselves. This is good. This is the assault we need. Team Blue yep. doesn't have the Ruba yet. Team Red needs to push in. What are you doing? Why are you walking back? What is being called? If they, if Blue come in with an Uber, oh, 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 that's what you get. What a disaster! Not being aggressive. Just lose it anyway. Why would you linger? This was such a good movement, and then you just get some weird call that makes you go back. I wonder Blue what was said. Have a lot of momentum. I wonder what the comms were that made Team Red just move back. Red have thrown themselves in it, but heavy medic. Uh, team Blue is on the point with some Uber. No heavy damage in class though, and... Have poor medic. <laughs> poor medic is getting killed. Tried to hide, but um... It wasn't a very good hiding place. Still, the card is very close to that. The cart is really close and the engineer is frantically trying to get up his suit in this again. We'd love to see a spy jump down and uh, inch it that last. He can inch it forward realistically, just go in. Oh, engine. Oh. <laughs> a and the very, engineer tries very that brave time. battle engine going in and flying out of there. One point for a Team Red scored by uh, putting the engine in the basket. Okay, and blue spy kills Merc. Red ready. Oh dear. Surely it just should be the last push for Team Blue then, since the Red Medic is dead. Oh, lovely kill by the Spy there. Lovely kill. Literally jumped on his head. I do believe the Spy right now, his main task should be to stop the card from inching back. I think he could have spent his life better, but um, just traded go in, his life for the heavies. Give a quick stab, cloak again, just to reset that timer and get the card to stay there. Because this is a lot of meters they're losing here. Mm. Team Blue has Lines the rubber. Again. They're ready for it. Uh. Oh dear. Team Blue getting killed. Luckily not the medic. Blue spy at best pool. But he's been seen. If the cart was close to the point, then he, he could have stuck it closer. I do hope they attack now because there's only a minute on the top left. This is the last push, this is going to be the last push because this doesn't exceed. Here they go. Blue heavy. Okay, the blue demo America going in, but they're going in way too far and there's too no ambitious, backup. they can't kill everything. And end up killing nothing. I guess this is GG for Team Blue. And it seems the server has crashed. The timer stopped. Everybody has stopped moving for me. Is the same one on your end? Yeah. Mission this game was won by seconds. Team Red, or at least they uh, defended successfully. Seconds. Okay, Sam's Five, telling me the game is paused. Four, three, two, oh, the game has paused. One. Two people seem to have crashed, and that's why the game uh, was paused. Okay. A bit odd that the game doesn't uh, print out that it was paused. But this is still basically a defending team win. I don't think a pause matters much here. Actually, there's only two of Red's team alive. Fair or blue? Yeah, but one of them is a sentry. Okay, blue, spy and sniper have crashed.
<laughs> well, let's hope they, uh, Okay, I, uh, I don't know how long this is going hey, Sam's giving him a one minute ultimatum. Well, then he'll play on, uh, both teams will play on without spies. I do hope... Uh, it will continue in full force because the teams, although slightly nudged to one side or slightly watched, watched nudged to the other side, um, they've been pretty close. Oh, and here we go. We've been on pause. The sentry goes and does the last of the two shots. The AFK spy gets AFK shot. Blue is coming for the last reluctant push. Medic is on the card. Medic's got the demo there, the spy. Oh, the demo! They're throwing their bodies into the Even this side. They might get it. They are going to Just get the it. Just the medic. Just the medic and the scout. Can they do it? Oh, no, here comes Team Red to flame them up. It's too many. A bit of piss will make sure the scout dies. A bit oh. of fire will make sure the medic burns. The engineer, the engineer. goes in there. Oh, no. oh, but Team Red's on the point now. Team Red is on the point now. Oh and my god. Team Red defense. This was closer than I would have expected. Oh, so close. Right, let's see what techniques Team Red, sorry, Team MS is going to do uh, and where the engineer placements are going to be. Okay, I think um Spandy timed out again. Mission begins in thirty seconds. Okay, Red's defense doesn't seem quite as fast. It does seem that someone is going to sit out. Five, four, no spies on the team. Two, and one, here you can see the big difference between the setup. The timer is gone and the Red Engineer only has his sentry and his uh, dispenser done. And neither of them are leveled up. He doesn't seem that interested in upgrading it either. It's such a big difference between the weapon dropping. Such a big difference. In blue is a uh, Rocking the normal of the charge right now, and Team Red is still on the normal charge as well. So it seems that Team Blue has switched. Oh, Red Medic goes down. Yeah. The wild um, time. And an incorrect time move by Team Red just to make sure. Red just seemed to be demoralized the last. And Team Red still hasn't. Uh, switch the heavy uh, machine gun. Yeah, that. Well, this is quite the early wipe, but the cart is being pushed. Here comes the scout, though. Here are the four people on the cart. Also, one of the things that I would like to see teams do more is uh, sometimes they make the mistake of putting too many people on the cart. 
And after four people, three, eight, four people, it just gives you diminishing returns in pushing power. And you'd rather have the power just clearing the way for the car. But it doesn't matter. They are there and they are quite a bit faster. Let's see if we can get the second point as fast as the previous team did as well. Well, they're on the high road. And the scout pushing card ensures that they will have this one as quick as well. Team Red still gets a spawn, but it's not supposed to be. <laughs> the capturing of the point locks the Red Engineer out and he dies for being killed by the game mechanics. Bit of a crit there and this is showing what the crits can do if you use it offensively. With the demo, it's a lot of power. I don't know if I'd contest this area too, uh, too much. It's quite difficult to defend here, I think. I think the corner where um, the last team put their sentry up is a good spot. It is a good spot, but what I would want to see is a teleporter uh, across the point, so on the balcony overlooking it. Oh, so yeah. you have two pieces of your army to contest the point from both sides because the mistake that the previous defending team did and which you can see really well now is that if you bunch up around the corner too much you don't get killed for it because now group has one direction they need to work and the direction is going to get spammed and because of the quick cap team uh, Farag or the attacker team wins it quite easily. Garage. Thank you. Okay, uh, now it will be uh, again the same team attacking and the same team defending. This will this is being played in an uh, A B B A format. So team B or uh, team a mass. Uh, I'm not sure what Jim Bob is saying. Jim Bob is speaking Twitch speak. Right. Can, can you translate? Uh, well, basically what he said was crying face, salt shaker, crying face. I still understand. He's a bit salty and sad. I understood enough of that. I'm sure most of the Twitch viewers will understand it. Teams are now being switched for the for the format. Red spy back. It seems that uh, both teams are at full force again. Good. Yes, we have the red spy. some team management is being done. Well, what do we expect to see for the next two games? I'd still say that uh, Team MS will probably win the streak. Bit of confusion here, which team yeah. uh, is which color. No, I was quite impressed by Sam's um, his team's defense at the start of the last game. Well, the one they were defending. Yeah, and the weaker defending team will now be the same defending team as well. So, do you expect a repeat? I just expect a mess to win. Yeah. Nothing's really changed. I've got a spy now, but um, I, I think they're demoralized. 
What was so equal at the whole capture point is quite unequal in this game. The I guess the engineer setup of the other team just made all the difference. The whole level 3 sentry, teleporter, uh, dispenser. Mm. Wondering what's the name of the team right now. It seems that everybody has switched. Right, last chance for you, Team Kappa, now. Let's see if they're going to do the engineer trick right now. The engineer seems a bit confused and is shooting the wall. This is not what we want of you, engineer. This is not good. This is precious setup time wasted by going back. In 30 seconds. Is he trying to switch his... Yeah, he switched his loadout. He still had the the normal... Uh, sorry, the weird engineer hand equipped. This is precious setup time. I don't think he's going to have anything set up by the start. No. This is quite a big mistake on Team Kappa. Oh, what a shame. Wow. I am fully charged. Dying won't help you here. I do oh, hope. It's glitched out on my screen. All I can see is a giant coat of red. I do hope Team Red can hold off until the engineer is separate ready. But if anything, Team Blue will really get the power out of this. Yeah, they're moving in. They're moving in hard and fast. Blue Medic is forced to Uber. This might be something that's good for them. Oh no, there it is. Take a pie to your medic. Take a pie to your sentry. Your dispenser may be up. It may save your engineer's life, but and that's gets away. big. Pyros aren't meant to live that long. It's a big part of the camp just being destroyed. And meanwhile, the blue scout has pushed the part along the nice. Well done. Oh, nice uh, reflection. He taunts and dies for it, which I think is justified. Yeah, this is just a crumbled defense of Team Red. Right. Team MS is uh, sharp if they can push, and they can push pretty well. They do spy on the medic. I can see it. But gets away. I think he's using the cloak and dagger. It does look like it. Well, Team Mamess is uh, pushing it apart steadily. But this time, uh, Team Red Bull has had a chance to set up. Not a fan of the cloak and dagger. He just he stayed alive there, but he didn't do anything. Yeah. He might as well have died for all the time that he did not have nothing. In. Wow, uh, Team Red had the time to set up, but their engineer chose to set up a very weird teleporter that just gets burned. It gets seen and burned instantly. Uh, Red engineer is probably losing the game for them now. Not to point fingers. No, I just like to uh, conclude things. My conclusion is, is that blue team is just pushing way too easily. Here, another uh, uh, attack, uh, attack even a clash between the heavy medic pairs uh, results in death for the heavy with the inferior guns. So I guess it's not just the engineer that cost in the game here, but some multiple bad choices on Team Red.
Although there's some nice spy work there by El Chitro clearing the top for the blue soldier. Okay, here comes Team Blue with the uh, Uber. And the crit is not going to do anything, guys. You should know this by now. Again, one of the four choices. I'm going to push them right back. Red is just choice they and should poor run choice away. and poor choice. Using the crits defensively, poor choice. Engineer making, uh, well, some questionable uh, build locations, uh, questionable choices. Poor choice. Spies can't do this and kill. The heavy gun is being used right now. Probably a poor choice. Yeah, that's no, not really that's forgivable. Not. It's just, it's costing them so much damage output. Maybe it's got sentimental value to him or something, but it means he loses every single uh, heavy jewel. And they're very common in Highlander. There is some good sniping being done on Team Red. And the engineer is still quite clueless of where to set up. That's when he started this nest right now. Meanwhile, Team Blue built the Ruber all the way up. And they're gonna move in, fire the top. Ooh, Here ooh. they go. Ooh, bit of risk there, but nice uber swapping by the medic. That's one that's down. Heavy, where's the damage? I think that heavy medic might be a bit premature because the cart's quite far away. They're probably just clearing the point. Maybe a bit prematurely, but it's doing the job just nice. Just fine. Just. That's good, but nobody's pushing the car. Yeah, this is one thing Blue might want to have a look at. There's nobody in the car yet. The <laughs> wow, the you. red engineer is just is just clueless and, and, and quite confused. Team Blue probably would have won by now if they pushed the cart, but they okay, can keep everything. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Well done, Team Blue. Well deserved. Yeah. Bit more cohesion, wiser choices, and well done engineer play in the early game. Mission begins in 60 seconds. And I guess that's it. Team uh, That's complaining about the teams. I don't think the teams are that bad. I mean, in the first map, um, it was very easy. I mean, Sam's MS team did did win. Mission begins in 30 but it was it wasn't much to it. And here, Team Red, Spy died, Heavy died. Look at the building speed. Look at the well. Most of the difference probably last time was because the engineer wasn't on point and wasn't on time. Mm. With the teleporter there, they they get the players back very quickly. Exactly. This is what you want. A level 3 sentry ready to go. Level 2 to sorry, level uh, 2 teleporter ready to go. It's just a superior build up. Spandy seems up obsessed. He got sniped? Okay. I don't know. There's some Red bloody chance. Coming up behind the medic. He got sniped uh. again. And it seems that uh, a glitchy spot One thing you, you can do team, against yeah? a new good player is um, can look, look, look at their feet behind them and stab their feet as spy, and that launches them up into the air and breaks the, um, the um, medigun heel, so they're not good anymore. Yeah. It seems that Team Red uh, went to some sort of glitchy spot right here. I'm not sure if that's allowed or... Uh... Which player is that? Is that Tinker? Yeah, Tinker went to a top right spot there. And he dies. <laughs> and he's taunted. <laughs> it seems he really upset them. He did. Okay, 
Okay, blue do seem better on attack than they are on defense. They do, and there's quite a battle going on at the cart now. They're not really paying attention to the cart. This sneaker pyro just might get the cart where it should be. Or at least all the way in the front. Not, not dealing with the um, teleporter. There we go. Okay, Team Blue is just making sure there's nobody left behind. We need to push the card now. Nice bit of time there. Okay, heavy medic are going up to the uh, overlooking area. Oh, but they're going to get ambushed. Chose to set up on the roof and gets a kill with it. Okay, Blue in the might be on time. Oh, Blue going in with Nuba, and with part of Nuba, they're and they die. They're dead. This is what I mean. This is what with the team just giving you a bit of space as engineer to set up your stuff. Okay, I think Red might be able to hold here for a while. They seem quite strong on the roof. This is this is just the hold you want to have as the defending team on the roof. Some heavy classes to Blue hold heavy medic jump. on the barrels there. Looks quite tragic. And level 3 sentry is up. There is a pyro behind, but he is uh, pushed up. Yeah, we're going to have a hard time um, getting um, Every red off Every second this red is spending on the roof, this uh, second more you have to go up there and try to get him. They're just digging in deeper and deeper. Uh, the dispenser is almost up, which means enough ammo for them. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well done, Blue Spy. Well done, Blue Spy. Because that's one of the things you'll have on the roof is, is ammo shortage. Because there's only two packs and that many classes on the dispenser is up there, though. Aye, but they're missing a lot of simple firepower now. And then they can be assaulted by multiple sides. Blue Spy goes down. It was a good effort there. It seems that one of the players on Team Blue has disconnected. I'm not Great sure point. what the Blue engineer is doing there. Yeah, I think Blue are just so demoralised now. I think someone did to uh, rage quit and uh, that they pretty much think they've done. Is it standing strong? I do believe so. Okay, he sounded quite angry earlier. He's a very good player, but... Well, Red Engineer is back on the roof. Did he bring a higher level sentry with him? He did not. But it doesn't matter. The sentry's up again. The dispenser's pretty full of metal right now. And as long as he doesn't get spammed... Oh dear. Here comes the last uh, Uber. <laughs> the demo jumps in to uh, sticky the spawn. 15 seconds now. But if there's no one on the cart, it's not going to help a lot to demo. Okay, here comes Just the heavy damage. And Team Unless wins. Well played by uh, Team MS. They were the stronger team in the payload map. By far. Just by choice and by tactics. Oh, there was a bit of a questionable position by the sniper there on the rocks. I'm not sure what yeah. Sam will say about that. Well, maybe their team should lose. Cheating. But uh, they did dominate with everything else. Yeah. Don't know how much of a difference it made. Well, I guess this is it. Uh, thanks everyone on Twitter for watching and thank you, Patch, for trying to uh, co comment with me. <laughs> I hope I wasn't too uh, hard in talking over you. Uh, no, no, I just ran out of things to say. <laughs> 
Well, anyway, if you want to uh, partake in these uh, fight nights, they're free to sign up on our uh, forums, dhh.co.uk. Everyone is free to join. Doesn't matter what kind of skill level you have. If you have played TF2 for 500 years or did you just start playing? Have you played for a few years and stopped and now going to start again? We don't care. Come on, sign up for fight night. Uh, everybody is welcome and everybody can have fun. Unless you rage quit, but... Uh, I do hope you're not one of those. Um, I am Sun Commander. Thank you for watching. I do have my own Twitch channel, as I may plug it, which is twitch.com slash Commander. And I hope to see you here next time.